Hello Vinyl community. So yesterday I felt like going back in time and listen to music that uh, could be regarded as music of hope. Hope for America maybe, uh, considering the current state of affairs. There could be probably drawn certain similarities between today and the time when these two musicians made their records. It certainly is a certain atmosphere that seems to be very, very up to date right now. So let's get to it. I'm of course talking about Simon and Garfunkel. And here their first album, Wednesday morning, 3 a.m. I can't even remember when I bought this copy, but the interesting thing about it is that someone took a marker and just stroke out every mentioning of the word Columbia or CBS. It's a little bit like this album has been in the possession of the Pentagon or something like that. <laughs> so um, it's reducted. I don't know what that means. Sounds of Silence, the second album. I think at this point Simon and Garfunkel have already found their voice. I uh, have some great tracks here. The Sounds of Silence, I'm a Rock. Also these photos in the background. I've always thought that uh, they are somehow standing in snow or something, but it's just, it's just a bit pale in the background. It's not snow at all. It has been shot in California. <laughs> Parsley Sage, Rosemary and Thyme, third album. This is really an excellent one, I quite like this one. Of course it's got Homeward Bound on it, Scarborough Fair. Yeah. The soundtrack to The Graduate, Mike Nichols film. This has, this has got this uh, rather uh, rather groovy version of Sounds of Silence. And a version of Mrs. Robinson that kind of never gets resolved, which is a little bit annoying, but you get the full version here on the next album, on bookends, of course. And finally, Bridge Over Troubled Water, the last album of this magical duo. And most obviously the best one. I mean, I think this is not a stretch to say that. So that's it. Um, just a little presentation. I've never seen anybody show Simon and Garfunkel on VC videos. I guess it's a bit of a too obvious music that doesn't seem to bear any any uh, secrets or any new discoveries. So I thought, why not? And it's kind of fitting to the zeitgeist right now, I think. So, until next time, goodbye.